Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another video, and today I'm super excited to show y'all the newest camera in the arsenal, my Panasonic VX870. To understand why I got this camera, if you've been part of the channel since basically the beginning, I had a $99 Samsung camcorder, and the thing had awful audio, it only shot in 720p, but it was very easy, simple to use, and I love that you could just pull it out, everything was in focus, and ready to go. And I've been missing that the last few years, and especially after using a DSLR this season and trying to manually focus basically everything, I really miss just that part of the camcorder. So I decided to upgrade from a $99 Samsung and get a Panasonic. This thing will shoot in 4K, it has infrared vision, it also has an LED light in the front for when it's getting closer to dark, you can still get a really nice shot of whatever fish or if you're hunting, whatever you're doing like that. So that's the main reason I bought this along with, it's just so much more compact, it's way lighter, you don't have to carry three lenses with you everywhere. Even with the microphone, it weighs nothing and it's easy to handle. And it's going to be a nice little vlogging camera. I got a little wide angle lens for it, so it's going to get that nice wide shot when I want it to. While I could tell you, tell you just everything about this and go through the features, it's going to be better if we just take some footage and see what it's like. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead, take the roadie mic, throw it on here, and we're going to get some shots. This is with the wide angle lens. It was about $25, but it makes a big difference. I'm not too close to the camera, a little close, but not bad, but you can see a lot of background behind me in both directions. Now without any type of wide angle lens, my face looks very close to the camera and my arm is as far as I can extended and you're not getting much background in each direction. So that's why I went ahead and just got a wide angle lens. After using this camera for the past few days, there's a lot of things I love about it and a few things I dislike. So first off, the image quality on this thing is absolutely fantastic for a camcorder and it's very, very nice overall. But I came from using a DSLR and DSLRs do give you much more detail. Not knocking this camcorder, it's fantastic for YouTube, but you don't get nearly as much detail generally as you do with a DSLR. But again, completely fine for YouTube and does give you way better footage in slow motion because DSLRs generally just don't offer it. They only shoot about 30 frames per second. Now the second thing is the use of an external mic. Yes, you can use an external mic on, mic on this and it is fantastic. The only problem I have is you have no manual control so you can't do anything with the gain. So I always found the mic volume to be pretty high when editing and I always have to turn it down a little bit. But with that being said, there was never any distortion with the mic. It was just a lot louder than I was expecting. So that's one of the biggest positives. The automatic system was very, very good on this thing. And finally, this is probably the biggest one for me, the user interface of this camera. It's pretty bad. It took me a lot of Googling and trying to figure out the settings on this thing before I learned more about it. It wasn't as deep of a learning curve as the DSLR, but it did take more than it should take for a camcorder. And that's something that should be noted and I hope they fix in the future. So now we got those few small negatives out of the way, now we get to the really good stuff. 
the low light quality is way better than I ever expected it would be. There's not nearly as much grain as I would have ever imagined. The onboard mic is 10 times better than I would have ever expected. The LED light, the IR, all of that was amazing. And the amount of detail you got when you zoomed, I couldn't believe it. It boggled my mind. I thought for sure I was going to get much more grain. But with this optical zoom system, it's so clear and vivid. And finally, the biggest one, the gimbal and hybrid stabilization of this camera is just phenomenal. It's not as good as the Sony system, but when you take the hybrid system, turn it on for stabilization on the camera, and then you add post-production stabilization to that, you can free walk this camera on a really ruddy just ground and it looks just straight, just stable as it can be as you saw in that footage. Overall, I'm really happy I bought this camcorder and I really am excited about bringing y'all some new content with it in the future. Now if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to share, like, subscribe for more, and thanks for watching.